This is question number 19, 2013 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2. Uh, we are told complete the table below for y is equals to x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 5. Uh, so this you covered in form 4, uh, uh, this form 3, uh, further graphical methods. And uh, here we have been given a table, the value of x and the function y is equals to x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 5. Uh, you are supposed to fill the missing gaps here. You have uh, minus 3. When x is minus 3, you have been given the value of y is 19. When x is 0, the value of y is minus 5. So what you do here is uh, you take your calculator and uh, you can just substitute this directly. Therefore, you are going to feed. Uh, here you have been given y is uh, minus 5. So you can use the bracket. Uh, min, that is, you put the bracket, you put minus, you say 5, minus 5, you close the bracket, you press the, the, the raising uh, button, that is to put power, and that is raised to power 3. Uh, then you add to 4, uh, you put 4 plus 4, multiply by, you put the bracket, uh, you say the value of x is minus 5, so you put minus 5 and you close the bracket. Uh, you minus, put 5, multiply by, put the bracket, minus uh, 5, close the bracket, and finally you put minus 5. Uh, that should give you, when you put that, you should get minus 5. You substitute the same for 4, you should get 15. When you substitute for minus 2, you should get 13. When you substitute for minus 1, uh, you get 3. When you, get, when you substitute for, uh, for 1, you get minus 5. When you substitute for 2, you get 9. You can use your calculator and do that. But be very careful because uh, if, you, are, you, have, if you, you, you mess up with one value, then you are not going to... Uh, to get the correct value. Uh, B, on the grid provided, draw the graph of y is equals to x cubed uh, plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 5 for x is minus 5 less than or equals to, uh, that is x is less than or greater than or equals to minus 5 less than or minus uh, or, or less than or equals to 2. This is called the range. Uh, and you'll be able to get so when you, if when you fill these values then you get two marks uh now i'm going to do that in another page uh so that uh, we have the the grid provided so let's go ahead and draw our graph using now the table that we have filled in here so this is the grid that we are going to use i've already inserted the table that we have filled in section a uh, the highest value of x is 2 the lowest is minus 5 the highest value of y is 19, the lowest is minus 5. So if we come to our graph here, we can say that is a starting point is 0. Then we can say this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is x-axis. Always remember to label your axis. You don't need to draw these lines to represent the axis because already we have the, the grid. Uh, so here we have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 uh, this we can use uh, 5 we have 10 we have 15 we have 20 and this is our y-axis uh, this is minus 5 uh, we have minus 10 so with that we can now plot the points that we have uh, so we have when x is minus 5 y is minus 5 so that's how we, where we put our point. Uh, always, uh, you can use a dot or you can use an X like that. Uh, both are okay, whichever you are comfortable. Uh, but for me, I'm going to use the dots. When X is minus 4, Y is 15. So that's where we have our point. When X is minus 3, Y is 19. That's where we have 19. When X is minus 2, Y is 13. 
so that's where we have our 13 when x is minus 1 y is 3 we have it there when x is 0 y is minus 5 when x is 1 y is uh, minus 5 and when x is 2 y is 9 y is 9 that's where we have our 9 so we are going to join these points to come up with a graph uh, which we are required to plot so let's do that uh, when you are joining the point you use your free hand don't use a ruler and make your graph as smooth as possible so that you get the correct values uh, so this is the best graph i could come up with uh, i hope you can get better than that uh, so once you do this you'll be able to get uh, you'll be able to get three marks here uh, so that's what you do uh, to do that's how you draw the graph part c roman number one use the graph to solve the equation x cubed plus four uh, x uh, squared minus 5 x minus 5 is equal to 0 so you can see uh, here y has been equated to 0 uh, so we are supposed to find so we, uh, we can put here uh, we can y is equals to uh, we have uh, x cubed uh, then we have plus 4 x squared uh, then we have minus 5 x uh, minus 5 and the equation we are supposed to solve is zero we can start with zero x squared x cubed uh, plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 5 so what we are supposed to do y is it was y has been equated to zero so we find what is x when y is equals to zero uh, we read the values of uh, x when y is uh, is equals to zero so that is y is zero at the x axis so the first point here, uh, the small point represents 0 0.2, so 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. The first value is minus 4.8. The other one where the graph cuts the x-axis, uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 is 0 point minus 0 0.7. And the other, the other value is, uh, this is... Uh, 1 1.5 so 1.5 so those are the values that satisfy the equation uh, so once you do that you should be able to get two marks uh, you should be able to get these two marks the last part of this question by drawing a suitable uh, straight line on the grid solve the equation uh, x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 5 is equals to minus 4x minus 1 let's go back to our grid so you can see here the equation that we are supposed to solve is x squared plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 5 is equals to uh, minus 4x minus 1 so we can see y has been equated to uh, to minus 4x minus 1 this represents a linear graph a straight line so we need to find the value of x when y is equals to uh, this that is we draw a line which cuts uh, the values where uh, find the values where this line cuts the our graph here which is represented by this uh, function so to do that we are going to make three points uh, so this is x and this is y we say when x is minus 1 minus 4 times minus 1 is positive 4 minus 1 that gives you 3 when x is 0 this will be minus 4 times 0 is 0 minus 1 so y is minus 1 when x is 1 this will be minus 4 times my 1 is minus 4 minus 1 that will give you minus 5 so we are going to identify these points uh, so when x is minus uh, minus 1 y is minus 3 so that's where the point is when x is 0 y is minus 1 we have it eh? when x is 1 y is 5 so what you do is you draw a straight line uh, passing through these points and see how it looks like
so this is a graph that i have come up with uh, okay I, for, I had forgotten to label to label my graph always remember that so it is minus 4x minus 1 and the other one is uh, y is equals to x cubed uh, plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 5 very important you label your graphs uh, now, because we are supposed to solve the equation, we get the values of x where the two graphs cut each other. So the first one is 4. So it means x, uh, it means here uh, x is equals to minus 4. The other point that the graph two, the two graph cut each other is minus 1. And the other last point is 1. So these are the values that satisfy this equation here which we have been told to solve and that is how you work out that question uh, if you do that correctly then here you'll be able to get three marks you'll be able to get three marks uh, a very easy question if you do it correctly uh, uh, the only part that you need to be very careful is this part when you are filling the, the graphs the table that which you, the values which you are going to use to plot the graph and uh, then the next important thing is you draw your graph as smooth as possible so that you get the correct values. I hope you have followed.